What's wrong with my people, man? Seriously, then, what's, what's wrong with black folk? Why do it seem like other races are so much more mature and evolved? Like, just, just mentally, like, just like they, they're more evolved than we are. Like, and what I mean by that is it seems like the average black man, it, it, it takes until we're like 60 to really fucking mature like our mindset don't really change like I, I see black guys in their 50s talking to young black guys in their 20s and you know just the, the things that they, they tell them and the things that they condone you know you would think that they will come with like a different mind they would have a different mindset because they're older and they've lived life and you would think that they would have more wisdom and and experience and with that will, will come more maturity but they be out there talking the same bullshit that these young guys be talking like i hear young guys in their 20s yo i fucked this bitch i fucked that bitch you know my sneaky link my side hoe i got 25 side holes i got 30 side holes i got this 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 while being married and and not once do you hear from the older guy sitting out there with them, like, come on, brother, get yourself together. Like, like you you gonna sit there and hurt that woman? You gonna break that woman's heart? You gonna do that to that woman? She don't deserve that. She trusts you. She loves you. You got a good woman. She cook and clean. She submissive. She do all these things that you could possibly want from a woman. She she fucking you every night. She don't complain. She's not confrontational. She's not argumentative. She's docile, she's humble, she's supportive. And she loved you before you 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 had money in your pocket. Before you your business became successful. Before you started getting that bread. Come on, bro, don't do that. If you don't if you ain't going to value her and respect her and treat her like the queen she deserves to be treated as, leave that woman alone. Don't break her heart. Don't do that to her. Don't fuck don't don't fuck don't fuck over her like that. That that, that ain't cool, bro. Because karma, bitch, that's going to come back to you. And somebody going to do that to your baby girl when she get older. Don't do that to that, that, that woman. You, you actually got a good woman and you fucking her over, doing her, doing her dirty. That's what you would hear older Asian men telling younger Asian men. That's the kind of think conversation that an older white man has with a younger white man. But black man is like, uh, for real, man, go ahead and get that pussy, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just like. And then when you look at the way that like older black men dress, like they dress like they still in their 20s wearing sports jerseys. And I'm not saying that wearing a sports jersey is, is, is anything wrong with that. But when you like dress like that every day, it's like with age, your, your interest, your change. You know, your mindset should change. You shouldn't have the same same mindset or same clothing style that you did when you were in your 20s. Like, at some point, you, you should evolve and, and, and grow into a man. You should want to be, typically older men like to be more sophisticated. And you got some older men still with foul language, nasty mouths, always cursing, don't know how to articulate themselves in a classy Mature, respectable manner. It's like, do we grow up? Do black men hit like a, a maturity peak at like 30 and then it just stopped there until we get 80 and then we, you know what I mean? It seemed like with other races, that light come on, that light that they talk about at 30 where we, we just wake up, we're, we're, we're more mature, uh, we, we, you know, we start to understand life. We 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 start to have more self discipline. We start to be a little more empathetic towards others' feelings. Sympathetic. We learn how to think before we act. We handle things like adults. We talk things out instead of fighting, like 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 we're in kindergarten or high school. 
we become better communicators because we realize that, you know, fighting and, and being confrontational and pulling our guns and knives are not going to get us anywhere but dead or in jail. Our thinking evolves. I thought young people were supposed to learn from older people. What the fuck are, are, is our younger generation going to learn from us? When we're talking the same lingo and the same language that they talking. We, we don't use slang. It, we shouldn't be... It, like, when we're having a conversation, you shouldn't hear, like, 10 slang words in an older person's kind. Like, they should know how to communicate themselves in a... Uh, uh, and speak like an educated human being. They shouldn't still be talking like a motherfucking hoodlum on the corner of North Philly. A 25 year old hoodlum. And so it just makes me wonder like, where is the next generation going to gain any sort of wisdom from? Who's going to lead these, the, the next generation in the right direction? Who's going to instill all those important morals and, and values into them? Who's going to teach them what, what it is to, to be a self-respecting man and a self-respecting woman? A decent man and a decent woman with morals and characters and teach them to, to treat people with the respect they want to be treated with. Where are they going to gain this knowledge from? Who's going to, going to steer them in the right direction? Because the, the older folk are acting just as immature as the young folk. I don't notice this from white older men and, and, and uh, older Asian men, older Latino men. And another thing. Y'all know Cam and, and Mace show? Cameron and Mace? They're an example of what I'm talking about. Gilly the Kid, even though he talked that positive shit, it'd be more so Wallow. But Gilly the Kid, his cousin Wallow, be talking all that positive shit. Gilly is just, just ignorant to me. Like, he acts like a, a, a fucking 24-year-old goon. Seriously. Like, he got people on the show. Now, Cam and Mace are just so homophobic. And they, they clearly are examples of black men who have not evolved. They still dress like the 25 year olds they were in 2004. I, when I look at them, I don't see adults. Like, like when I look at them, I, I wouldn't bring them around my uncles who are mature men who actually act like they're in their 50s. I would bring them around to my 24, 25 year old cousins. They they would they would get along with them. They would have more in common with them than they would people who are actually of their age. Black men really be out here acting their motherfucking shoe size and not their chronological age. Every time you 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 hear them talk, they keep saying shit like pause and no diddy. Like that is just so immature. And I don't understand the whole pause and no diddy thing. It's like black men associate something gay and even black women. Y'all associate something gay with almost every word in the fucking dictionary. Yo. You know where I want to go? Long Beach. Pause, bro. Pause. Pause. No diddy, dog. No diddy. Why is it when I use the word long, the first thing that comes to your mind is a long dick? That says a lot about you. That's another thing I know about black people. Like, we're very, like, over-sexualized. I heard about the guy, the teacher, that allowed his female students to braid his hair or were they unbraiding his hair? And he caught all this backlash from the black community. They were calling him a pervert and why are you letting these young girls put their fingers through your hair like they're your wife or your girlfriend. They shouldn't be touching a grown man's hair that way. I didn't see anything wrong with it. And when you look on TikTok, you see a lot of older white men letting uh, their students 
you know, braid their hair or style their hair and, and put things in their hair and no one says anything about it. It seems like black people are just over sex, sex, like every, everything is, is sexual for us. We have to correlate everything to sex. Why is that? It's getting ridiculous. Like it's it's just getting out of control. This whole no diddy thing, uh, pause. Like like you gotta clarify that you're not referring to something gay when the context of the conversation should make that obvious. Like if we're talking about sports, and I'm like, yo, man, the Eagles put that D. On the Lions, man. The, the Eagles, Lions was fucking the Eagles up, but the, the Eagles put that D on the Lions. Do I really have to say pause to that? Like when I say D, the first thing you think of is dick. Why is something gay and in, in homosexuality at the forefront of our minds? Why are we so obsessed with homosexuality? What is with black people on homosexuality? Why are they so freaked out by it? Why are they so like in, infatuated with it? So obsessed with it? We talking about, about basketball. You know what, man? I don't know if the 76ers can beat the Celtics because the Celtics got length, man. They got length. Pause. Yo, I want me a, I, I want me a, a big, a big fat sandwich. Pause, dog. No diddy, no diddy, no diddy. Pause, like, <sighs> bro. I, I, I can't deal with it. I, I, I can't. This is why I can't deal with niggas. I, I can't relate to niggas. I, I can't, bro. Their ideology and the way that they think and the way that they process stuff, it, it's just, it, 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 <laughs> we're in two different worlds. I, I can't fuck with them. They too ignorant to me. Because my whole thing is, what does that say about you? Well, clearly we're talking about sports. And when I say long, long just describes the length of something. Why is the first thing you think about dick? Why is dick the first thing you think about when I mention length, when I say long? When I say big, why is a big dick the first thing you think about, motherfucker? We're the only community where a man can't refer to another man as thick without people losing that shit. Think Keyshawn Johnson. He's a, a sports a pundit on um, Undisputed with Skip Bayless. And the other day, I think he referred to a football player as thick. He said, yeah, man, that, that brother, he thick. He thick. You know what I mean? So as a running back, it's going to be hard for those defenders to take him down because he, he he's he's thick. He ain't no, no small dude. He he a big dude. Even if he said big, even if he said big bone, even if he said husky, niggas would have found something wrong with him. They would have made something gay out of it. Why don't we make something gay? We make things gay. We make things weird. Because we're the, we're, we're the only ones bringing up homosexuality or, 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 or turning an innocent conversation into something gay and, and, or correlating words to something gay. Like, it's even ridiculous. At first it was big, it was long, and it was thick. <laughs> that was like... Anything they, they associate with gay, with, with, with a, another a, a man's genitals. Like, why is that the first thing? That says a lot about where your mind is. The words that come out of your mouth tell you about who you are. and with, 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 Like, it, it's like black men are just very insecure when it comes to that sexuality. When it comes to that manhood, that masculinity. And they feel like at every second they have to, to prove their straightness. They have to prove their heterosexuality every second. Why? Are we that homophobic? I guess in our community, as people know, 
being gay is like the worst thing you, as a man. That's the crazy part. So uh, that, 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 that's another thing that blew my mind because it's like, y'all don't have an issue with homosexuality. That's why the whole thing is just disingenuous. Right? Y'all don't have an issue with homosexuality because y'all actually partake in homosexuality. Y'all partake in homosexuality. Y'all enjoy homosexuality when it involves two women. It don't matter the gender. You are still indulging in homosexuality when you have sex with two women. When you're able to bust a nut watching two women rub their clitoris against each other. That's still gay. That's still homosexuality. You're getting off on a homosexual act. You're getting off seeing two people of the same sex have sexual intercourse with each other. So you're getting off and you're being sexually pleased by homosexual acts. That's not to say that you're a gay man, but homosexuality turns you on. You're turned on by homosexuality. Usually, well, it's two women. It doesn't matter. That's, it's still gay. I don't understand why we can't get that through our head. It's still gay. Gay don't mean just two, two men. Gay is two women. It's gay. So if your stance is that it's wrong, if your stance is that it's foul, if your stance is that it's, it's because, you know, when we, when we look at videos they post on the shade room featuring uh, Mr. Saucy Santana, you see all the comments, you know, oh, you know, the, these men are sick and they going to hell and they're hell bound and. They have a reprobated spirit and they have a demonic spirit. It's all these. They, they got to be so extreme all the time. Demonic. I'm like, what's demonic about it? Where'd you get demon from gay? I know some gay people that are just absolutely wonderful. Where'd you get demon from? You ain't got to be gay to be a demon. <laughs> but demonic and sick and ill and traumatized and all, all these. They, they just love the demonized homosexual men. I remember when Michael B. Jordan put his head, hand around Ryan Coogler, I think his name was, and back in 2016 in that photo shoot, and people thought that was gay. Like, we are just, we live in such a super hyper masculine culture, black people. And it's like we're, we're frightened of homosexuality. And that goes back to like the, just the delay. Like, we just, we seem to be delayed in our thinking. Cause no other race seems to think like this. It is hot, man. It's fucking hot. Ugh. Woo! <sighs> Scorching the Philly, man. It gotta be at least 90. Um, that's why I be having my shirts off all the time. Um, but yeah, like the 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 the, the homosexuality, the the hom homo Phobia in the black community is just it's one of the weirdest things I, I've, I I can never really understand. Like like why so much hate towards gays? Who gives a fuck? Who's gay and who's not? But clearly, black men uh, are not very secure in their skin and with their sexuality um, and their manhood because it's like they constantly got to prove that they're they're straight. Like it's just weird. Like y'all claim y'all hate gays, but then y'all keep like they're at the forefront of your mind. Claim you hate gays, but then when y'all get mad, y'all tell each other to suck your dick. That's really like a Philly and New York thing. Suck my dick, nigga. Like how is that an insult? He might actually want to do it. You might be telling that nigga something that he he been wanting to do for a long time. <laughs> oh man, it's unbelievable, bro. But in this video, I just wanted to rant about that. I, I could go on and on and on and give so many more examples, but even the black women still be just argumentative, petty, will fight over the smallest shit, argue and bicker over the smallest shit, old grudges over the smallest shit. And you just like, sis, you are 37 years old and you still acting like a fucking child. You still acting like a 19-year-old, a 18-year-old in high school. Mm. 
Just have to bring this video to an end, man. I'm at 20 minutes. I don't want to feel like I'm just ranting about nothing at this point. Repeat myself, but um, black folks, it's a weird motherfuckers, man. It's a weird motherfuckers. Anyway, I'm gonna bring this video to a close, and um, get y'all up soon later.